Christmas presents and January's Zanini box. What's up everybody, I'm Tylock and this is Homespun Geek. What's going on Funko family? How is everybody doing today? I thought I'd do a video to kind of show you what I got for Christmas. I know Christmas was like two, three weeks ago, but I haven't had the opportunity to show you guys everything that I got, so I thought I'd go ahead and do that now, as well as open Zanini Box, which you guys know is a subscription package that comes every month with five pins in it. Uh, I'll cover that when we get to Zanini Box, guys, but before we start that, I wanted to let everybody know I had a fantastic time on Monday, guys, hanging out with Fritzy Funko and I'm an Invader Homespun Happy Hour. We are working on a February Happy Hour, guys. Uh, that is coming uh, the announcements will come at some point. I'm not sure when. Uh, I have a couple of people in mind that I'd like to come over and hang out with me. Uh, but once everything is set in cement, uh, I will let everyone know. So, uh, but yes. Also, guys, I wanted to let everybody know I am doing a big giveaway at 1,200 subscribers. I am currently at 1,164 subscribers. So only 36 away, 36 away from 1,200, and then we'll be doing the live stream to give away all the 1,200 subscriber stuff. I haven't even revealed all the 1,200 subscriber stuff. I've revealed some of it. I will reveal a little bit more tomorrow during Support Saturday number 60, as well as some more giveaways that I'll be doing. So come back tomorrow, guys. Support Saturday, episode 60. That is tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be a pretty big deal, guys. There are going to be some additional giveaways added on to some of the things that I've been doing, guys. So yeah, definitely come back tomorrow. Don't forget. So all right, guys, let's talk about Christmas. I had a pretty good Christmas. I hope all you had a pretty good Christmas this year. Um, I got pretty good stuff from uh, the homespun queen Cherie. She gave me some pretty good stuff this year. Uh, I'm going to start with the smaller stuff and show you guys just a few things here. I did get only my fourth fig pen, guys. I got Weekend All Might. Uh, I'm going to take pictures of the little stuff, put it over here somewhere. Hopefully you guys will be able to get a good look at it. Weekend All Might, guys. I'm loving My Hero Academia. I love All Might. Uh, this is a terrific pop. I really like it a lot. Pop. Fig pin. I really like it a lot. It is only my fourth fig pin. My second My Hero fig pin. The other two that I have are Dragon Ball. Uh, then, guys, you guys know I'm a Masters of the Universe freak. You guys know Masters of the Universe is one of my favorite things ever. So you'll probably see a little bit of a trend here with some of my presents, guys. I did get an awesome custom pop, which is right here from Funko Pops and Unicorns. I showed that off in a video a couple of weeks ago. That was an amazing, unexpected Christmas present from Caitlin over at Funko Pops and Unicorns, who I will tag in the description below. She does a lot of awesome stuff. If you guys want to go check her out, uh, she is pretty amazing, guys. But here you go, guys. This is what I got. The loyal subjects are something that I've been slowly collecting. I think I have most of the more common ones, guys. But this is uh, Orko. Yeah, I did get Orko from Cherie. Uh, she managed to find him. I've never seen the Orko in store anywhere, uh, but I'm very happy to get him because Orko is a great figure. Uh, that is what Caitlin customized for me as well. Orko right there, guys. A very awesome Christmas custom. But yeah, Orko, the Loyal Subjects Orko. I think I have a lot of... Well, I don't know how many Loyal Subjects I have. Let me see what... Let me look at the box. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six seven eight nine i have nine just from this series guys uh and then i think i have two from the original series so yeah i have like 11 of the loyal subjects i don't have them all i'm not even really trying to be a completionist because there are some rare ones in there but i do really like them a lot they remind me of the toys from when i was a kid uh but there is orco guys again a picture should have been up some point here so you guys can have a look at him don't forget, guys, I did announce I'm working on a mystery box coming up to try to make some money to replace this camera because of the focus issues. So I don't have to do that anymore. I can just hold it up like this uh, and show you guys like that. But, you know, you can see what it does there. Um, but, yes, uh, if I can replace that camera, it would be amazing. It would be awesome. I would be really happy to do that because I am, uh, I want to be as best, the best me that I can be. And I feel like I can be a better me. If I had a better camera, guys. So, uh, all right, Funko-wise, uh, not a whole lot from Funko because we don't really do a lot of Funko except for Daniel for Christmas because we do Funko all year long. So I 
told her and you know obviously she told me don't do a whole lot of pops because that's not you know really a christmas thing because we buy funko pops all year long anything we like that comes out we buy it uh but she did buy something for me and she custom something for me that i'm going to put a spinner in at the end of this video so you guys can see the first thing she bought for me guys was something i was missing from my office set and it is the toby and michael two-pack um which is absolutely flipping awesome i love this two-pack i love the relationship between toby and michael because michael hates toby uh and that relationship is just amazing uh he's such an awful person to toby and you always kind of feel sorry for the guy want to also show you guys uh something that i got in monday's live stream anybody that might not have been watching monday's live stream i opened up a package from phoenix poptastic and got this awesome pam beasley right here uh pam beasley was one of the other pops that i was missing from my office collection as far as for now with pam beasley from those amazing people phoenix poptastic and the two-pack from my amazing wife uh the only office pop that i am missing is facebook uh jim facebook jim well that's the chase guys i never saw the chase and i actually did see the chase i'll take that back saw it at the convention it was 45 dollars and i just wasn't at that time willing to drop 45 dollars on it i should have done it i didn't i'll probably regret that i don't know what the value is on the facebook gym now i'll put it somewhere up here because i'm sure it's gone up and uh, i'm gonna regret not buying it for 45 dollars. i'll tell you that right now so uh but yes those are awesome additions to my collection thank you again to phoenix poptastic and sheree homespun queen for helping me get a lot closer to finishing that set all right guys the other funko related item i got was a custom from my wife who did not know that caitlin at funko pops and unicorns was customizing a masters of the universe pop sheree customized an evil lynn uh, for me she just basically diamondized her in christmas colors you'll see the green and the red i will put this pop on a spinner guys at the end of the video so you can look at it because it is amazing uh absolutely amazing green red and white instead of the uh purples and blues that are on her typically this is just amazing and then gold her uh i'm gonna say thin part of her hat is gold and white uh it's beautiful guys it's absolutely amazing i love this pop so much sure did an amazing job on this again our new stickers guys if you haven't seen those yet uh but yeah there you go guys she did customize a masters of the universe pop spinner will be at the end of this video guys for anybody that wants to see that up close because it's nice guys it's really nice anybody who's never seen anything she's done before uh we give those kind of things away all the time on the homespun geek channel uh custom pops crochet items lots of stuff uh here's something right here here's my pickle rick guys that sheree made for me uh she we gave one of those away and we sent sent one to uh funko's with chris in canada we give stuff away like that all the time if you guys have never watched my channel aren't familiar with what we do we do give that kind of stuff away all the time so all right two more things guys for christmas that i got i wanted to show you real quick you guys know recently i started buying ben presto figures well, I got one in a mystery box. I got Goku, and then I had to buy Vegeta to go with him. And then I told Sheree I kind of wouldn't mind some Banpresto stuff for Christmas. So I ended up getting, for Christmas guys, All Might. Again, All Might is one of my favorite characters from My Hero Academia. Uh, I do love, love All Might quite a bit. He is absolutely fantastic. Really hoping to see more of him, even if it's just in his weakened state soon on the show, because he hasn't really been in it a whole lot recently. But um, he is a great character, great hero, great character. Love him. And I love this figure as well of him running uh, like that, running into battle, basically. That will also be at the end of the video, so you guys can see a, a detailed, up-close look at him. The last thing I'm going to show you guys in this video that I got was another... Uh, Van Presto figure arts figure uh the first hopefully of many because this is absolutely amazing guys all right so I have Dragon Ball Z Van Presto figures I have All Might now My Hero Academia but my favorite anime is One Piece I love One Piece even though I collect more Dragon Ball Z stuff and even My Hero stuff there's really not a lot of One Piece stuff to collect I mean I guess there is but there's just not enough uh, there's not enough 
Um, but yes, guys, my first One Piece figure arts figure, I got Zoro, three sword style Zoro. This is amazing. This is absolutely fantastic. I He is my favorite character from One Piece, which is my favorite anime. So this is my favorite anime character, guys, of all time. I love Zoro. I just absolutely love him. I think he's fantastic. I love his three sword style. Uh, his story is wonderful. His story is amazing. If you've never seen One Piece, you should try to, you know, give it a chance, guys. It's not for everybody because it's very, very long. Uh, but it is, it is my favorite. I love it. Zoro will also be at the end of the video, guys, so you get a chance to check him out. So yeah, there you go, guys. A two pack pops, a custom pop, a fig pin, a loyal subjects, a band presto figure, a figure arts figure. All of that was amazing. It was amazing, an amazing Christmas, guys. I also got a Star Wars shirt that I wore uh, not too long ago in a video, guys. You probably have seen that already. Um, and I got this. Yes, I got this. It is the Rampage edition of the Arcade 1-Up, the full-size Arcade 1-Up. I love Rampage. Love Rampage. I have a Rampage shirt. I have Rampage toys. Uh, I watched the newest Rampage movie with The Rock, even though I wasn't a giant fan of it. I actually still really liked it a lot because, you know, it's Rampage, man. I mean, who doesn't love Rampage? I, I loved playing that game when I was a kid. If I went to an arcade and it was there, I always stopped and put a quarter in and played Rampage. And now I have my own arcade version of Rampage, which is absolutely flipping amazing. Cherie is awesome. Cherie is an amazing wife to pick that up for me uh, for Christmas. Just fantastic. I have, I will confess, I have not put it together. It is still in the box. Uh, I just need time. It's a time thing. You know, I just have to have time to assemble it and space. I have to clear space in here to put it together because you know, there's not a lot of floor space in here, guys. There's like a path to the door and a path to the chair on the other side over there. So, uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, that is everything that I got for Christmas. Tell me what you think. Anything cool there that you guys thought you, you might like? Uh, Zoro is a part of a set. Um, and so he's like the first part of a set that I have every intention of trying to complete because I love One Piece, like I said, love it, guys. Uh, and I think I'm probably gonna try to complete that One Piece set, uh, that figure art set. The next one I need is Luffy, then Sanji and Usopp, Nami. You know, I just need them all. Chopper, uh, Frankie. Yeah, I'd really like to get all of those because they are absolutely awesome, guys. Once that whole set is put together, uh, I think it'll look really good. Again, guys, all my Zoro, Evil in will all be in spinners at the end of this video guys so you can check them out uh, so if you want to see them up close you want to see the detail on them make sure you stay tuned at the end of the video guys I will put them all in the spinner or take pictures of it if it won't spin uh, so you guys can check it out so the other thing guys that we are here for today is Zanini box uh, I love Zanini box guys you know I'm a big pin collector, a big enamel pin collector. I don't like button pins, or I, I don't know what you call them, like clasp pins. I'm not a big fan of those because they're hard to wear and I can't put them on my cork board, which is my pin board that I have on the back of the door to this room uh, because, you know, they won't go through the cork. I had a pair of scissors in this room specifically for Zanini Box every week and they have disappeared because it's very hard to cut this open with my knife. All right, I'm going to take these all out, guys. It's five pins every week. I don't know what's... Every month, sorry. I don't know what's in this bag. I have not watched anybody else's Zanini videos for January because I don't like to be spoiled on things. I like the surprise. So I'm going to take them out, face them down. I'm feeling to make sure the pin is facing down. And then we will go through them one at a time, guys. Like I said, I have no idea what's in these. That's three. That is four. All right, should be the spoiler card in here. I don't want to see the spoiler card though. And there are, well, oh, all the way down here. This bag is much bigger this month than it has been in the previous week or months. Uh, safety bags. I really like the safety bags, guys, because it allows me to wear these pins if I choose to. Um, all right, that's all that's in there. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, there is a sixth pin in here. Well, that's interesting. 
All right, first time I've ever gotten six pins. Okay, very interesting. Uh, there probably there might be a note or something in here that says what it, why I'm getting six pins. Okay, I'm not gonna look. I don't want to look. All right, all right. We'll look at that at the end of the video, guys. Um, very strange. I didn't know I was gonna get six pins, but that's awesome. A uh, bonus pin, man. All right, guys. We're gonna open the first one up. I'm gonna show you, if you've ever watched my Zanini videos in the past, guys, yes, the camera does not focus. I'm gonna to try to take pictures of each and every one of these that are that do it justice, and I'm actually gonna to try to edit those down to a square and just put them here instead of over, you know, putting them over the whole video. Uh, but you guys should have a picture at some point right here of each of these pins, so you can check them out. So they look good, see if they look good, see if it's something you're interested in. Again, also, all the Zanini information will be in the description below, guys, so you can check them out. So, all right, guys, here we go. First pin in this box this month is, oh, <laughs> it's a, it's just a German Shepherd. I guess it's a just a dog pin, C Cactito. Zanini box plus Cactito uh, STD. I don't know what Cactito is. Hopefully it's on that paper that's in there. Uh, but yeah, it's just a German Shepherd, guys. Um, that's cool. That's kind of cool. I've never had a German Shepherd. Uh, I do know a couple of people who have German Shepherds. I know a guy who trains German Shepherds uh, for... Uh, basically people with disabilities and things like that so uh, but anyway guys let me uh, move on to the next one here all right the next pin in here guys it is Jaspion oh VR troopers oh VR troopers VR VR virtual reality I did watch VR troopers quite a bit uh, it was similar to Power Rangers. I, I think they were trying to play up the Power Rangers thing with VR Troopers. Man, I did actually watch this show. Yeah, and I enjoyed this show. It was really cool. VR Troopers Jaspion. I don't really remember it that well because that was like 100 years ago. But yes, there you go. VR Troopers Jaspion. Again, picture it was up here somewhere, guys. So you'll have a chance to look at these really well. Uh, all right. Pin number three, folks. Pin number three this month it is oh it is the Star Wars pin it is the dark one himself Mr. Darth Vader you guys know him everybody knows who Darth Vader is that's actually a awesome pin I also really like the backer cards guys as well I really like the lightsaber over here uh, last month was Kylo Ren this month is Vader so, so far, uh, two Sith Lords, you know, hopefully there will be a couple of the good guys in here at some point, but I do still like the, the bad guys. I still like Boba Fett, Jango Fett, Darth Maul, uh, Daniel more so than me though. Daniel is a giant fan of Vader and Kylo and Boba Fett. Uh, but yeah, that's awesome guys. So there you go. Darth Vader is number three. All right, number four in this month's package is Oh, there's the other Justice League pin this month, uh, Wonder Woman. Last month, I believe I got Superman. I like these a lot because they remind me of the animated series, Justice League, the animated series. Uh, that looks really good. I do really like it a lot. I know somebody who's a big fan of Wonder Woman. Um, yeah, that's really cool. I do like it. Awesome, awesome. So, uh, yeah, the logo on Wonder Woman, it was at the top there, guys. It looked really good. All right, fifth, I want to say, I keep wanting to say, oh, this is the fourth because there's one left, but this is the fifth pin. Crazy. It is, oh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, that's a cool pin. I do like Sonic, guys. Who hasn't played a bunch of Sonic games? Who hasn't tried to play Sonic over and over and over? Uh, that is a cool pin. For sure, we'll go with my Super Mario pin that I got from them. Uh, I may actually just put it right next to it on the pin board. But yeah, Sonic and Mario I have gotten. But yeah, who doesn't like Sonic? That movie is coming out. They did fix it. It does look a lot better than it did when they re released that first trailer. But man, I'm telling you guys, that first trailer was rough. Uh, all right, this is the last pin, guys. This is number six in the 
package this month. It is... Oh, snap! Masters of the Universe, He-Man. Oh, dude, this is a great one. Oh, that is an awesome pin. Uh, oh, I did not know that was going to be in here. Oh, man. Zanini maybe has listened to me because I have asked for He-Man in the past. Uh, man, that's smooth, man. Whew. I don't, I'm not going to just... I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure this out because my Master of the Universe stuff is here and then my pin board is on the back of the door. Somehow, I'm gonna try to figure out how to put this with the Master of the Universe stuff. Uh, man, that is a awesome pin. I'm gonna tell you also his facial expression on here, he looks pissed, <laughs> Like I, but I love that. He looks so, he looks like he's fixing to beat somebody down, man. I love that the power sword is on, on his back. You can see the, the hilt of the sword on his shoulder. Uh, this is a very classic pose of He-Man. Uh, man, that's cool. That is super, super cool. Thank you, Zanini Box. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for that one. I, you know, I, I know that you guys did that. It's amazing. It's absolutely something that I want. More He-Man would be... Whew, more He-Man characters. More Master of the Universe characters. Skeletor would be smooth, man. Oh, I like this a lot. I'd like to have a little set of these to display with my Master of the Universe stuff. I'm going to have to figure out how to put that up there. So... Anyway, guys, yeah, that one is cool. I think that might be... Hopefully, I've had the pictures up for you guys. Let me read the paper here. All right, this side of the paper, guys, does have the pins, the kind of the spoilers. I'm glad I didn't look at that. And then here's a bunch of the pins that I've gotten in the past, guys. There are a ton of pins that I've gotten. Uh, all right. All right, guys, I'm going to read this to you real quick. It says, hello, subscribers. A new year is coming, and we would like to share more news to you. Uh, we worked hard to start this new mystery bag box with the cheapest value possible. Our plan was to maintain that value until the end of this year. In January, the value of our subscription will have a small increase in our plans for just the future subscribers. Starting in January 1st, for all current subscribers, we will keep our value as a way of respect and appreciation for all support. Our new values are the basic plan, guys, which the basic plan just has three of the pins. This time it would have had the VR Trooper, the He-Man, and Sonic the Hedgehog. It is $9.99 a month. Standard plan, guys. The standard plan would have included Wonder Woman, so four pins. Uh, it is $11.99 a month. And the premium pin, guys, uh, would have included the Darth Vader, which is a series that they're doing. It's a six-pin series. Uh, that's the second one I've gotten. Last time was Kylo Ren. This time was Vader. Um, that one is $13.99. The premium plus five metal pin backs, which is what I just got. Uh, I did just get the metal pin backs. They are right here. Uh, that is fourteen dollars to ninety nine cents. If you want five pins uh, plus five metal pin backs, fourteen dollars ninety nine cents. Pretty good deal. Pretty good deal, guys. Uh, then they have an international option uh, plus five metal. The international option will have all five pins plus the five metal pin bags, $24.99. Obviously, that's to cover the shipping internationally, guys, because I've shipped internationally, and I know what the difference is uh, between shipping here and shipping internationally. It is not easy. Uh, if you subscribe before January 1st, you will get the old price as long as you keep this subscription active. For G.I. Joe fans, we would like to inform we will not forget about you. We are preparing something special soon. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, this month, we are also putting a new collection for sale separately on our website. We are starting this collection of dog breeds created and created by our designer, totaling six pins in our first wave, releasing one by every two months. Okay, well, that's, that's cool. That's what the German Shepherd was, guys. So that is the first of six dog breed pins. Uh, I'm not sure what dog breeds they're going to do, but the one dog breed that I've had my whole life, my whole life, my family has always had chows. Uh, we had a chow, and then we got another one, and then we ended up with, a, I mean, I have always loved chows. Uh, they're just beautiful dogs. They have, uh, a lot of people say they have an aggressive temperament, but I have never had a chow that had an aggressive temperament, never. And we've had at least four chows and none of them have ever had any aggression or all in fact the female that we had at one point uh her name was molly she i mean obviously these these our dogs have passed away um 
because I haven't had a dog in like 10 years, but uh, the female that we've had, Molly, she was one of the sweetest dogs. I felt at one point like that dog was part of my soul. Uh, when she passed, it was just terrible, guys. Uh, this month, we are also putting a new collection for sale separate. Oh, I already read that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Thanks so much for all the support and feedback from all subscribers. And Happy New Year, Pedro Zanini. Uh, and it is signed down here by Pedro Zanini, which is awesome. Um, I really appreciate the letters. So Zanini Box, if you're watching this video, I appreciate these letters that you give us every month. Uh, even if it's just like one little paragraph and you just say, you know, what you what your thoughts are on the pins or, you know, some news or anything you have. I like that. I think that's really well done. I also like the, the big picture of all the pins back here. And then this, this is this month, sorry. Um, I think that's really well done. I really do. Uh, because you don't see that a lot from a lot of those companies because they, you know, some, some of the companies that I've subscribed with um, don't put anything in the box to thank you or to say anything. So I want to say that I do appreciate that. I think that's pretty awesome of them. So uh, that is really it, guys. Like I said, stay tuned at the end of the video. All Might, Zorro, and Evil Lynn will be on the spinner or just kind of pictures so you guys can have a look at them and see how awesome they are. Come back tomorrow, guys. Support Saturday 60 once again, two weeks in a row. I will not be premiering Support Saturday, so please remember to come back and watch it, guys. Uh, I'm gonna be giving away three more pops that I'm gonna be announcing tomorrow, and I'm also gonna be telling you guys what we need to do to get those pops, you know, to, to initiate those giveaways, basically, guys. So basically, definitely, definitely, come back tomorrow. I promise you guys you won't regret it. Some channels are going to be shouted out. It is Support Saturday number 60. 60. Guys, how awesome is that? So, thank you all for coming over and watching this. Awesome Christmas gifts that I got. Awesome Zanini box. Zanini, this was a great box this month. I really liked it a lot. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching the video. I love you. I appreciate you. As always, guys, I am Tylock. This is Homespun Geek, and I hope you have a nice day.